Mabuhay! Good day to all! I am your tutor, Madge. Welcome to Itulan, a free online tutorial, an initiative of the Department of Education, Information and Communications Technology Service, Educational Technology Unit, ICTS EdTech. This program is aimed at helping and assisting learners from kindergarten, senior high school, ALS, alive and sped learners. Aside from answering the modules, the Itulai is offering programs which we will surely look forward to. Together with our parents and teachers, the Itulai will bridge the gaps where difficulty and ease meet in learning new knowledge and skills. So, let us prepare our module, pen and paper. Ready your mind to see and hear worthwhile and interesting lessons. Let us now study and learn together with our volunteer online tutors. Tarana! Hello, good day everyone! Shout out po to all our viewers, teachers, learners of from Quezon City, Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. Welcome po to our e 2 Live online tutorials. I'm your tutor, Tutor Joyce. Join me today as we journey and have a fun learning the 21st century literature, of course, with my mentor, Mom Tutor Floyd. Okay, and which is the continuation of our lesson this afternoon with the subject, the 21st century literature from the Philippines and the world, which is the title is the history of our Philippine literature. Okay, so... And I know you guys are very excited this afternoon, but before another journey, let us have first a quick check for understanding. So are you ready, guys? Let us have a recap for our previous session. So... Uh -huh. Okay, so let us all... Okay, can I hear from a live stream? Yes, comments on our sections. And yes, comment po. Mm -hmm. The following, so let us check and let us answer. Just click on the comment section if you want to answer. Okay, let us, uh, uh -huh, let's start. Mm -hmm. Yes, we have number one. The following are reasons why we should learn our country's literature except letter A, to call our forefathers for our literary limitations. Letter B, to take pride in being a Filipino. Letter C, to trace our her rich heritage of ideas and culture passed down to us. And letter D, to understand our traditions better. So ano kaya ang sagot natin? Ayan, sa ating comment section. Ayan, so shout out tayo kay Joseph Conant Bulaklak. Good afternoon, watching from Pasay City, North uh, High School, grade 12 ICT. Hello, Joseph. Ayan, yes. And the correct answer is... Yeah, letter A, <laughs> to call out our forefathers for our literary limitations. Okay, number two, How let's try number two this time. Well, number two, we have which of the following sequence best portray the basic timeline of periods of Philippine literature? Ano kaya? So, let us have... Letter A, ayan, sumasagot na si Jean Tayong. Okay, tina natin, Jean, ha? Okay, so we have here, letter A, American regime, contemporary period, Japanese colonial period, pre-colonial, Spanish colonial period. Letter B, pre-colonial period, Spanish colonial period, American regime, and Japanese colonial period and contemporary period. Letter C, is it... Pre-colonial period, Spanish colonial period, Japanese or American or letter D, Spanish colonial period, American regime, pre-colonial period, Japanese period and contemporary period. Well, let us see. Ayan po. Good afternoon po. This is Ma'am Jean from West. Ayan po. Si Ma'am Jean pala ito from Pangulo National High School. Hello po, Ma'am. And the correct answer is, i-reveal na natin. 
Yan, letter B. Okay, so okay lang po yun. No? Letter B ang ating sagot. Number three, let's try again for number three. This is known as the first Filipino national nationalist movement led by our Filipino heroes through dissemination of books, leaflets, and newspaper articles for political reform. So, ano kaya ito? Letter A, the Gabriela's Women's Party. Letter B, the National Commission for Culture and Arts. Ayan, may mga sumasagot na din. Letter C, it is the Order of National Artists of the Philippines. Or letter D, the Propaganda Movement. Ayan, tingnan natin. May mga sagot tayo sa ating comment section. We have Jean Tayong answered letter B and Joseph Conrad letter B. Let us try to reveal the answer. Well, the correct answer is letter D. Ayan, letter D, the propaganda movement. Okay, number four. These are the invaders, knights, soldiers, Thieves, explorers, and the Spanish for Portuguese, emperors, okay, looking for new territories and involved the search for spice, uh, yeah, spices and treasures, among others. Ano kaya ito? Or sino sino sila? Letter A, is it the conquistadores? Is it letter B, conquistadors? Letter C, the dictators? Or letter D, the merchants? Sino kaya? Ayan, meron tayong mga sagot dito sa ating comment section. We have letter D daw. Akala, sabi ni, aha, ni Joseph. Okay, well, the correct answer is, yun, letter A and B. Ayan, ang ating mga tamang sagot, tamang sagot si Jean Tayong. Ayan, okay, ma'am, you're good. Correct. Ayan, pero, Try pa rin tayo, no, Joseph? Okay, next, number five. Ito na yung last. The following are truths about the Philippine literature in the Spanish colonial era. Except letter A, realistic novels depicting the oppressions of Spanish colonizers were evident, yet not so effective. Letter B, meron tayong religious themes dominated the culture of the Christianized majority in printing press. Okay, letter C. Yeah, the Spanish colon colonial strategy was to undermine the native the oral traditions by subs, subs, ano, substituting for it's the story of the passion of Christ or mga sinakulo na tinatawag nila. No? Or, and letter D, traditional Tagalog poetry was still prominent during this time in Francisco Baltazar, syempre, yung ating hero, no? a writer, when known as the acknowledged master for his literary form. Ang sagot natin ay, ayan, may mga sagot tayo. Hello kay Peps Tobias. Ayan, sumagot si Peps Tobias. We have letter A daw, ang kanyang sagot. Tingnan natin. Ayan, sumagot din si Joseph. At saka si Ma'am Jean. Okay, let us see. Yes, the correct answer is letter A. So, tama. No, tama si, okay, si Pebs Tobias. And of course, si Joseph din. Tama, congratulations. Ang galing-galing ng ating mga online tutors. At tutor, uh, tutis, no? Okay. So, moving on to our lesson two, which is the lesson objective for this afternoon. It's the tracing the historical events and development of Philippine literature during the American regime, Japanese period, and contemporary period. Ayan. So, ayan. Okay, so to continue, actually during this time of American regime, way back in 1898 to 1944, ayan na yung ano, influences ng mga Americans sa atin, ano, the impact to us, uh, to us Filipinos, especially in writing using the English language. Ayan, so ginamitan na tayo ng English language. And this English language used in writings, the Spanish and the dialects natin is from the different regions. Yes, na hindi natin makalimutan yung ating mga uh, Thomasites. So, so these Thomasites actually, uh, before sa Thomasites, the languages used in writing were Spanish and Tagalog. 
and the dialects of the different regions. So, nabanggit ko na kanina, di ba? Pero itong mga Thomasites na to, sino ba itong mga Thomasites? Actually, these Thomasites are the group of 600 teachers, American teachers. Ito ha, okay. So, which traveled from the United States and ito sila, no? Talagang they, they really teach these Filipinos, no? And they even introduced the school system. Yan. So, meron tayong 346 na, uh, male teachers. And of course, we have 180 women teachers. Ayan. Okay? So, ano ba itong mga factors to consider no, in, during this American regime? Well, we can see the freedom of expression. Nandiyan ay lumabas yung freedom of expression. Freedom of the press. Ayan, so establish Men of Writers Guild or organizations. So giving of incentives to the form of awards or outstanding writers of different genres. Ayan, okay? And of course, this prominent period that em emerged, no? Na na-emerged itong ating uh, during the American periods. Ano-ano ba ito? Okay, ayan. So, yung period of reorientation na tinatawag nila. Okay, way back in 1898 to 1910. So, ayan. We're in the English as the literary vehicle and the medium of instruction in the public school. So, yun, no? So, makita mo talaga doon pa lang sa panahon pa lang ng mga Americans, no? Talagang English is really prominent in using or as the instruction or the medium instruction in the public schools. Okay? And during this time, ayan na yung period of imitation way back in 1910. Ayan, way back in 1910 to 1924. Ito naman yung the first Filipinos, no? Yes, ma'am? Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, ayan. So, the UP College folio published the literary compositions of the first Filipino writers of English. So, ayan na yung imitating American and British models. Ayan. So, yung mga models natin, andyan si Wordsworth, uh, meron din si, andyan si Tennyson, Longfellow, Alan Poe. So, these and other American writers actually of the Romantic schools. Ayan. Including, ayan yung ating, ano, no, the best, ano natin, the best editorial writer of this period was Juan e, uh, Fernando Maramad. Ayan, okay? Ito na rin yung ating, no, so another thing is we have the period of self-discovery and growth. Siguro, tinawag siya, no, in, 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 in the sense na, Kasi nade-discover na dito yung ating sarili, no, as Filipinos. Wherein, by this time, Filipino writers had acquired the mastery of English. Ayan, ayan, nag-emerge din yung ating period of emergent. Nag-overlap na siya, no? Ayan, so yung period of self-discovery plus the period of emergent. Okay? Ayan, yung maturity and originality. Sabi ko nga kanina, they, they now confidently, the Filipino writers confidently and competently na wrote a lot of subject though the old-time favorites, ayan, yung mga about love and youth persistent and went in all forms of writing like yung mga novels and drama. Yes, ayan, the master of English. Ayan, na-enjoy na lang, no? Ayun. Ayan, no? Nandiyan din yung influence na sa atin ng mga surrealism and existentialism event in some of the English fiction. Next. Ayan, ito yung ating mga magagaling, no? Na nag, uh, na two clashing schools of thoughts. Andiyan si, sino kaya ito? Ayan, sige nga, tingnan natin sa ating comment section. Sino kaya itong pina-flash the screen na tinatawag natin art for art's sake ng dictum? Anyone? Yes! Meron ba tayo dyan? Okay. Meron, oh, siguro, and try i-reveal ko na, ha? Oh, sige. Siya si... Sino siya? Si Jose Garcia Villa. Ayan. So, actually, this dictum na tinatawag nilang dictum, it's actually a, a formal pronouncement 
from, from the authoritative source. Ayan, a short statement that expresses a general truth of of principle. Ayan, so si Jose Garcivilla, syempre, yun yung ano niya eh, treats literary pieces as art objects. Ayan, subject to aesthetic appreciation. Ito namang isa, Ayan, <laughs> no, na parang nag, ano sila, na nagko-compete sila with clashing talaga sila, di ba? Ang tinatawag natin is, of course, and dyan si Art for Society naman siya. Nang dictum is, wherein tinatawag ng pieces of instrument to effort social change naman sa kanya. Okay? Thereby having social functions. Yan ay walang iba kundi si, sino kaya ito? Ayan, sa ating comment section. Ayan. Okay, siguro nagtatry pa. Ayun, tama si Joseph. Kanina, no? Si Jose Garcia Villa. And another one. Ayan, si... Ayan, nagsisimulado sa letter S. Ayan, si Salvador Lopez. Okay. Next. Well, ayan. So, actually, the two... Bit, uh, the two controversies between the two schools... Ano, no? They continue... Over the years until the World War II broke out. Ayan. So now, ito na yung love for one's native tongue. Siyempre, yung pagmamahal natin, di ba? Gusto nating mahalin yung ating native tongue. Kaya lang, sad to say, nandyan yung ang mga nag-ibang na-conquer sa ating, ano, sa ating bansa. Ayan. So that's why, let us see, no? Okay. Ayan, ang ating Japanese period. Pumasok na ngayon sa Japanese period. So, Japanese period in the Philippine literature, in English language, and the development of the English literature in general, ano nangyari? Was interrupted during the Japanese period. Bakit kaya? Alam niyo ba kung bakit? Well, the Japanese censored all publications. Ayan. Except, ayun na, except yung Tribune, the Philippine Review. Ayan na, pumasok na yung dark period, no? Kasi nga, these Japanese authorities with extreme hate to the Americans. Ayan. And they did their best to turn the Filipino sympathy away from them. Ayan. So, they rewarded handsomely the Filipinos who are faithful to them. Imagine, no, kapag loyal ka sa mga Japanese, talagang bibigyan ka nila ng award <laughs> or ng reward rather. Okay? So, compare mo doon. Ayan. So, makikita mo talaga, di ba? Okay? And the war years was 1942 to 1945. Yun yung Japanese period natin wherein the conquerors discouraged the use of English and moreover, the freedom of speech. Ayan, so nawala na dyan, ano? Okay, next. And the right, ayan, so yun yung mga writers natin. Ang mga concerns is more on survival. Ayan, so the war. Okay. And yun na nga, no? And this Nipongo, even the, the, the Japanese language, Nipongo was introduced during this time. Ayan, but not well embraced by the Filipinos, despite of being forceful taught by the Japanese. Ayan, so, and actually, ayan, with the, the provisions of writings and publishing uh, literary pieces of works of, in English language, yun na, the Philippine literature in English experienced a dark period. Ayon, yun na yung mga themes of brutalities, poverty, and uh, the brave guerrillas exploits. Ayan, okay? Next. Okay. Ayan, no? So, survival natin, diba? Nakita natin dyan, no? Okay. Next. Yes. <laughs> okay, so, ayan po. Next, ma'am. Ayan. So, actually, ito na. Ito na yung mga um, nangaintroduce sa atin, no? The Japanese introduced during this time the the famous haiku. Ayan. So, diba? So, we have the, syllab uh, the syllables who, yeah, syllabic verses like 5, 7, 5, no? We're in, parang nandun lahat yung mga emotions, no? Sa ating poem na yan, na haiku. At meron din tayong kasama dyan, no? The similar also to haiku that uh, 
in structure but differs in the letter, in rhyme, and rhyme sa uh, human nature. Ayan, no? Yan yung tinatawag na, ayan, sanryo. Okay, San, sanryo. Mm -hmm. So, these three types of poems emerged during this period. Ano, ano ba yung mga poems na nag-emerge during this period? Ayan, yung tanaga, no? Talagang kabisado-kabisado niya na yan sa mga klase pa lang, di ba? Tanaga, okay, the seven, seven, seven syllabic verse, wherein, I'm more on nature. Ayan, no? More on the mountains. Yun yung mga, ano, yung mga theme talaga ng heart about love. Okay? And, yan, men, karoon ng sadness and more deeper emotion. Yung mga mixed emotion nandyan sa tinatawag nating tanaga. Okay? Ayan, syempre, yung ating mga usual form o tinatawag nilang karaniwang anyo. Ayan. Okay? Yes? Ayan, and during this time, nasa napapansin natin, di ba? Uh, Filipinos really love to watch Filipino movies na mga pelikula noon. But then again, the big movie houses were made to show stage closes kasi na-close na, no? Ayan, kinlose na nila. The Japanese actually parang nagkaroon na ng ano, ng, ng, tawag na, talagang kinonkor na talagang ang Philippines na talagang even the movie houses they were closed and this time the big movies were just made a show stage show na lang siya na ginamit ayan no so many of the plays were reproduced of English plays to Tagalog and the famous playwrights were do their works where ayan sino ba yung mga sikat na mga playwrights natin ayan si Francisco Shock Rodrigo sa pula sa puti Ayan, no? Mga or Jose Maria Hernandez, yung tinatawag nilang Panday Pira. Ayan, okay? And during this time din pa rin sa mga Japanese, no? So, nandun na yung ano yun, mga field of short stories. And among these were the famous writers, sino ba yung mga iba pang mga famous writer Nandiyan na si NVM Gonzalez. Nandiyan din po si Macario Pineda, no? And among others. Okay. Ayan. So, moving on to, yan, sa post-war and modern period. So, nandito na tayo sa post-war. So, natapos na yung war ng atin, ano? And, ano na tayo? So, modern period na tayo. Ano kaya yung modern period? Ayan. Ito na yung contemporary period. And at present, so from 1946 hanggang present hanggang ngayon no so we have here the the rebirth of freedom in 1946 in 9 to 1970 the period of activism in 1970 70 to 72 we also have the period of new society 1972 to 1981 and of course the period of third republic in 1981 to 1985. Ayan. So, simulan natin sa rebirth of freedom. Ano bang meron dyan sa rebirth of freedom? Well, the Americans under MacArthur liberated the country. Ayan. So, si MacArthur, di ba? Sikat na sikat na, I shall return. <laughs> And the country granted the independence in way back in 1946. Ayan. So, started during the rebirth of freedom. Diyan natin nakikita. At diyan din, sa time na rin na ito, no, nandyan yung CHED. CHED mandated the teaching of Philippine literature, ayan, in all tertiary schools in the country. And, ayun na, kaya lang nag-struggle ang mind and spirits posted by the sudden emancipation from the enemy, no? Kumbaga, nandun pa rin, no, kahit pa paano, and the desire to see the print, the wild desire to see print. Okay, next. Ayan, ayun no, kanina, di ba? So, the rapid rise of journalistic writings. Andiyan na yung mga, ayan, appearance of new publication, especially after the martial law years. Ayan. Okay, next. Ayan. Yun, yung nabangit ko kanina, no? yung ched natin, no? siya talaga ang nag-mandate ng ating Philippine literature for were in um, the tertiary, uh, all tertiary schools in the country emphasizing the teaching and of the vernacular literature of the regions. Yeah, so, may mga subjects doon, yung religious, faith, super so later, no? magkakaroon tayo ng game dyan. Okay? <laughs> okay, next please. Ayan, yung fiction 
nakasama din dito yung focus on courageous deeds and sacrifices, sufferings in the lives of the Filipinos. Ayan. Ayan, sabi ni ano no, ni Ana Miss uh, Ana Maria. Ayan, so Yan, nag-greet siya sa atin. Hello, ma'am. Hello po sa ating mga uh, viewers this afternoon. Continue okay, joining us this afternoon. Thank you so much. Eto na yung ating game this afternoon. Ready na ba? Ayan, game na ba kayo? <laughs> okay, guess the subject and the themes during the rebirth of freedom. An ano kaya yung mga subject and themes? No? Sige, start tayo. So, fiction subject and themes. Go. Ayan. Ano kaya ito? Please type your answers in our chat space. Ready po? Okay. Ayan. Antay natin yung mga sagot natin. Mm -hmm. Ayan. Good morning po. Good afternoon po, Ma'am Lo Logo Elizabeth. Okay. Ano ang ating sagot? Yes. Raise hand po if you have questions. Ayan. Okay. So, here, what, what, i-reveal na siguro natin ang sagot, no? Ayan. The correct answer is, ayun, religious faith. Ayan. <laughs> okay. Good afternoon. So, religious faith po yung ating answers. Isa sa mga themes or subjects natin during that time. Another, we have, yes, sino kaya mga kasagot sa ating comment section? Just type your answer if you want to answer. Ayan. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ayan. Sumagot si Conrad Bulaklak. Ayan. Ang sagot niya, religious faith, you're correct. Ayan. Okay. So, another we have superstitions. Yung mga paniniwala ng mga ninuno natin, di ba? Yun yung madalas na mag naging subject and themes during that time. Okay. Next, please. Ayan. Next po. Ayan, tama si Joseph again. Thank you for participating, Joseph. Ayan, ito pa. Next, we have fiction subjects and themes. Ano kaya ito? Sige, try nating sagutan. Write your, write your answer on our comment section. Okay. Ayan, so reveal na natin ang answer. The correct answer is, ayun, fantasy. Kaya pala may mga enchanted, parang enchanted kingdom dyan. Ano? Tsaka may mga balloons, balloons pa. <laughs> okay. So, that is fantasy. More on fantasy. Ayan. Next po. Yes, we have also. Okay. Yes, saying hi to Gwen Flores of San Francisco High School. Hello. Ayan, ang atin ay, please type your answers on our chat space. We have. Ribila natin ng answer. Sige. Ayan, we have the social problems. Siyempre. <laughs> Isa rin yan sa maging, na maging themes natin or mga subjects natin dito sa during this time. Okay, another one. Yes. Okay, sagutan na natin. Well, the correct answer is, ano kaya ito? Na flag ng Philippines? Mm-hmm. Yes, please. Aha, correct. Nationalism. Ayan, may sumagot sa atin. No? Nationalism daw. Correct. Yes, another please. Ito, ano kaya ito? Mukhang uh, puzzle sa atin, ano? Okay. Ayan, sumagot din si, uh, sa atin si Mary Abe. Okay, at saka si Joseph Uget. Social problems. Kanina. Ayan, fantasy. Mm-hmm. Morality, ayan, no? isa sa mga subject and themes natin here in this particular period. Next, please. Ayan. How about this one? Ano kaya ito? Mm -hmm. Ito ba yung start sa letter P? <laughs> okay. Ayan, maraming sumagot ng nationalism kanina. Mm -hmm. Ito kaya yung letter P? Yes, ma'am, i-reveal na natin ang sagot. The correct answer is poverty. Ayan. Okay. And next, please. Ayan. Ito naman. Ano kaya ito? We have. 
Ayan, politics, no? Kahit naman siguro ngayon, ano ba? Politics is still in at this time, de ba? Okay, next please. Ayan, nandun na tayo ngayon sa rebuild or rebirth of freedom. I mean, way back in 1946 to 1970, ito nilatawag na Heart of the Islands. Ayan ay mga collections of poems by Manuel Viray. No, ito yung pinaka-highlights ng ating literature during this time. The Philippine, Philippines Cross Section, we have a collection of prose and poetry by Maximo Ramos and Florentino Valerio. We also have the, syempre, si Nick Joaquin ba naman? Makakalimutan ba natin si Nick Joaquin? Hindi syempre, no? So, ating prose and poems ang way back 1952. Okay? Next, please. Ayan, syempre, isa pa, no? Yung May Day Eve ni Nick Joaquin, isa sa mga uh, sikat, no? Sikat na mga naging writings or naging nasulat ni Nick Joaquin during this time and the short story about love in patriarchal society. Okay? Ayan, the use of magic realism is also applied here in this literary. Ayan, meron pa. Si Y, Y, Waya. Okay, so Y, Waya ay, yes, by Shunil Jose, yung ating isa sa mga famous national artists also. Okay, wherein is about pre-Hispanic okay, society and people struggle for moral order. Next. O ano naman ito? So, well, we Filipinos, um, sinatawag nga nila na mal drinkers. Bakit ba tayo mal drinkers? Okay? Ayan, kasi nga, tayo nga, di ba, yung mga Pilipino, mahilig talaga tayong sa mga, kumaga, mga makasaya, masasaya, no? And then, this actually written by Alejandro Roses, where a short story focusing on the drinking habits and culture of Filipinos and Americans. Para bang pagkatapos ng work, di ba, after work, parang ano muna, relax muna, parang inam muna tayo ng mga kung ano mang soft drinks or ano mang pwedeng mainam natin, di ba? Na pang parang, parang, parang just to, to reward ourselves after a uh, an whole day work. Okay? Next. Ayan, ito pang isa, The Return. Sino bang sumulat yung nung The Return? Siyempre, ang ating isa sa mga sikat na national artist din, no? We have Edith L. Chempo, no? Wherein this poem was actually talks about old age. Ayan yung ating mga senior citizens. So, lamat ng mga nanonood dyan, no? From Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao, ng mga senior citizens, hello po. Hello po sa inyong lahat. And of course, the learners too. Ayan, napaka-active natin sa comment section. Hello, hello. O, nandiyan si Bianca Jasmine Alzaga. Hello po sa inyo. From San Francisco High School. Yes. Marami tayo dito from National, from Pangulo, Pangulo, Panghulo National High School, Raymart Villanueva. Hello sa inyo. Ayan. Yes, next please. Ayan, dumako naman tayo sa ating period of activism. So, this time, no, during this time, period of activism, nandiyan na yung Marcos was elected as the president. Kung naalala ninyo, no, in our history before, okay? So, this political condition of the country in the 60s, or oh, led, led to rise the student activism, ayan na yung student activism, the vocal playwrights based on universities, place in streets, no, natatanda no pa, yung mga strikes, yung mga protests, ayan, so the bloody demonstrations and the sidewalk expressions. Ayan, during this time, ayan ang race of nationalism and student activism of the literal revolution. So, yan, yung mga youth natin during this time, yun ang parang, they are demanding already for a change of government. Okay, andyan na yun, no? And of course, the period of new society. Ito yung tinatawag natin. Ayan, so the become vocal. Ayan, so yan, yung society natin. So, Marcus declares, ano na, martial law. Ito na yung tinatawag ng martial law way back in 1972. Okay, so the school newspapers were temporarily closed. Ayan na, no? Yung curtailment of human rights including press, press freedom. Ayan, kasama na dyan. And the, the, concept, the concept of a social transformation. Talaga namang nag-transform ang ating society during this time. Okay? 
Ayan. And in addition to all schools, newspapers were temporarily stopped. Ayan, so napansin nyo yung mga school papers na, na stop yun. And so with school organizations, okay, the new society tried to stop pornography, even pornography, and those writings giving bad influence on the morals of the Filipinos or the people. Yan. At kasama na din dito yung pag-introduce nila no ng mga award-winning bodies like Carlos Palanca Awardees. Ayan, no, yung mga continue to give annual awards, magazines, and comics. Yan. So, ayan na, ipinakilala na rin dyan yung Bilingual Education, which is initiated by the Board of National Education. Okay? Ayan. So, this this period, in addition to the old lays and dramas presented in the rebuilt of Metropol Metropolitan Theater, yung Folk Arts Theater, ayan na, naglalabasa na yung mga CCP, no? so Cultural Center of the Philippines. Ayan. Ayan. And, ayan, so yung mga Sarsuela, Sinacolo, ayan, na Imbayoka of the Muslims. And, yes, Ayun. So, yung radio and TV was already patronized, no? Hindi lang ito for ano, kumbaga, hindi lang ito for entertainment, talagang pinapatronize na talaga nila during those times. Ayun, yung mga play series nila <laughs> o si Marta, ayan, ang palad ko and Mr. Lonely. Oh, di ba? Parang may kanta pa nga yung Lonely. Oh, miss. Parang ganun, di ba? <laughs> and the Filipino film, syempre, yung ating mga Filipino films kasama diyan. And most of the themes and writings during this time ay ano mga ito mga to? Well, discipline, ayan, nandyan yung culture, tourism, and like we are favored more than a sensationalized reporting of killings, rapes, and robberies, di ba? But of course, these poems dealt with patience. Ayan, nandyan pa rin yung mga poems natin regarding the native culture, okay, customs, beauties of nature, and surroundings. Siyempre, no? And mostly the development of progress in the country. Ngayon, kasama na doon. Ayan, papasok na tayo sa period of Third Republic. Ano naman itong Third Republic na ito? Well, after 10 years of military rule, ayan na. Martial rule was, as, was last lifted on January 2 in 1981. The New Republic of the Philippines. Okay? Ayan, eto na yung mga poetry. Ayan, no? So, during this Third Republic, andyan yung sa poetry, what are these themes that we are, we, uh, they um, initiated or kumbaga uh, during this time? Ano, ano ba yung mga yun? So, meron tayong romantic and revolution poems, criticism, open criticism against the government. Kaya nga, Baga, parang nag, ano sila, nag -active, activist na sila, no? And of course, the songs that we have during this time. Ano-ano ba yung mga songs during this time? Ayan, yung mga true to life themes, no? Grief, still, poverty, aspirations, freedom of love, or love for God and country and fellow men. Kasi nga, during this time, parang kung ano yung nasa paligid natin, di ba? Kung ano yung whatever it's surrounding us, yun yung nagiging theme ng songs natin during this time. Okay? And? Ayan, so people, uh, sa mga films naman, sa mga pelikula natin, so people love for sex films, and dyan na yun, no? Yung mga annual festival and Filipino films, di ba? Yung mga, yung every, ano to, eh, parang every December, nanonood kayo ng mga magagandang movies, and then they have this competition or festival movies, right? Okay, next. And moving on to the next, the period of the Third Republic themes. Ano-ano ibang mga themes naman ito? We have the grief. Ayun na nga, no? Yung grief natin, poverty, yan, aspiration for freedom, yan, love for God, and country and fellow men. Next. And of course, yung ating contemporary period. So when say contemporary period, what are these periods? So please. Next, please. Ayan. So, yun. 1986 at present, no? Kasalukuyan. Tuloy-tuloy natin yan ang ating contemporary. Next. Ayan. 
Ayan. And dyan na yung ating contemporary period. During that time, yes, ayun yung post-EDSA revolution. Siguro nagtataka kayo, no? especially the 21st century learners nowadays, siguro hindi na naabutan yung, mga, yung EDSA revolution. So at this time, ito na yung post-EDSA revolution wherein the people power, yung tinatawag ng lakas ng bayan, prevail. Nandyan na yun, no? Nagkaroon na ng people power. Mm -hmm. So the new Filipino songs, ayan, Filipino songs and... Um, newspaper speeches and even the television programs well so that's it so i hope you guys you'll be inspired and um ayan so bago tayo matapos alam ko bitin na bitin kayo sa ating uh, hapon this uh, uh, ating pinag-usapan about this 21st century history of the philippine hindi man natin matapos okay so i'll just uh, stand by and we will uh, update you with the next uh, Uh, next session, no, i-review natin tayo para mas ma matutunan pa natin ano mamang mga bagay-bagay na hindi natin na napag-aralan. So, talagang konting-konting oras na lang tayo. <laughs> okay, next ma'am. Next slide, please. Ayan. Ayan. So, ayan yung mga novelas. Okay. Diyan may, may TV na and became more popular. Universities, presents. Yes. Next po. Ayan. So, mga workshop. Ayan, pumasok na yung mga workshop during this time. Mm -hmm. And, next po. Ayan, na-emerge na tayo sa different petas, dulang asilaw. Ayan. Okay, let's read the novels. Ito na yung pumapasok na yung, yung mga, okay. So, well, we're gonna have the quick assessment next meeting, siguro. Kasi we don't have time and anymore. Parang oras na. <laughs> okay, alam ko bitin na bitin kayo guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Okay. I think we need to have the last slide na. Ma'am? Okay. Ayan. So, bagong lahat. So, I would like to uh, share with you this... Um, Uh, um, para bang ano no a uh, quote of inspiration na we really cannot move on not looking back to our past di ba parang because of the past that we are now looking and moving forward at this time ayan and of course shout out to all the viewers teachers po na nandyan lahat no mga viewers natin na uh, from Luzon Visayas and Mindanao Yan, thank you so much for joining us and good day everyone. Once more, I am your tutor, Tutor Joyce. And with me, sana po, next meeting is Tutor Floy. And at your service, saying, soar high, explore, and have fun learning the 21st century literature from the Philippines and the world. Bye! Thank you po! Ang husay naman, natapos mo ang iyong tutorial session kasama ang iyong mahusay na itulay tutor. May bago ka bang natutuhan? I-share na yan gamit ang hashtag itulay level up. Huwag aalis ha dahil may susunod pang programa na pwede mo rin panoorin at salihan. Dahil naghihintay na ang iyong mga tutors. Happy learning dito sa itulay!